Hey everyone, it's Samantha Jamerson. And today I am going to cook for you guys. I cannot believe I'm doing this. I, if you guys don't know, I don't think I ever told you, I don't cook. Um, I, I'm terrified. I don't know how to cook. Um, what I make, yeah, you know, what I make um, in terms of what I think in my mind is cooking is, it's not funny. It's not funny that mommy tried to cook. Uh, I, I can make a really good bowl of cereal, ramen noodles, I got you, uh, pasta, I can make spaghetti really well. I can make spaghetti, thank you very much, I can. Uh, but I have left the stove on twice after I've made spaghetti. And my husband came home and was like, babe, you left the stove on. So needless to say, I'm not someone. <laughs> I can't get through this video unless you stop. So maybe just like, shh, maybe when I get you a toy, hold on, hold on. So anyway, so I don't know how to cook. And I have shared with you guys that like, in terms of my household and everything, I am the cleaner, I do the laundry. I'm a mom, a wife, I have a full-time career, so I'm a little busy. And cooking is just one thing that I've never mastered and I have no intention to ever master. But as now I'm a mom, I don't want Matthew, don't drop that on the floor. Um, I don't want Matthew to get older and go to his friend's house and be like, mom, why does Nick's mom make this and this? And why does, um, you know, Brett's mom make blah, blah, blah. Why do we always have pizza? Why do you always make spaghetti? Yeah, so I was like, you know what? I need to just learn how to do some things. I'm, I don't intend to cook every night, uh, God forbid, but I would like to be able to make something. Have my husband come home to a home-cooked meal. I think he would really enjoy that. And you would really enjoy that when you get older. Um, I tried to semi -cook. I tried to cook for Matthew. Like, I wanted to make his own baby food. And I went to the store, and I got carrots and green beans and all this stuff and I pureed it and I put it in the freezer and I was so excited to like cook for him. When I went to go feed him, when he was like four months old, he literally spit it out. Like the look on his face of pure disgust. I was like, I said to my husband, I was like, that's it, that's why I don't cook. I'm not supposed to be in the kitchen. <coughs> it's not funny. So I'm gonna try again. And I'm actually gonna record my husband's <coughs> video. I'm gonna record my husband and I eating it. I'm gonna kind of hide the camera because um, I really want to see his like natural expression. We might die from it. I don't know. He may like spit it out. I'm really hoping I don't burn the house down, but I'm going to make a meal in the crock pot, which I know some of you are probably rolling your eyes like that's not cooking, but give me a break. I make like cereal for dinner sometimes. So we're gonna make dinner and we're gonna like it, right? And we're not gonna laugh at mommy throughout the process. You promise? Okay, all right guys, let's do it. So we have the crock pot over there, all the ingredients right here. And we are making tonight Mississippi pot roast. I got this recipe from my office manager. She said it's so simple, so that is why I'm doing it. Ingredients are the, uh, the beef, beef stock, butter, onion soup mix, Hidden Valley Ranch packet and pepperoncinis. I, for some reason, every time I see that word, I just want to say pepperoncinis. I have no idea if that's how you pronounce it. Guys, I am Italian, but I am the worst Italian. So if that's how you pronounce it, I love it. If not, I am so sorry. All right, so directions. We're going to put the beef in crock pot. We're going to add about a half cup of beef broth, it should say. Uh, place one stick of butter on top of the meat, then add one packet of the onion soup mix. Add one packet of the Hidden Valley Ranch. Place six to eight pepperoncinis around and on it. I know, I hate myself too. They um, can add some spice. I don't really like a ton of spice. I think my husband likes, is that funny? I think my husband likes a little bit of spice. I think I might do like two, maybe three. I don't know, that just makes me a little nervous. I think that's really spicy. Um, and then it says cook on high for four hours or low eight hours. Slice or shred when done and enjoy. It sounds really, really easy. I hope I can do it, um, but I don't know until I try. With our eyes wide open We won't miss a thing that you do well. You better watch what you keep from us Before it's too late to go
I can not buy it Wasn't real, wasn't real with you, boy Real, wasn't real with you, boy You won't give me too much chances I don't care, I'm fine, I'm fancy and brighter Yeah, 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 oh boy I'm telling you about um, a stick of butter. When I was like, I don't know, eight or nine, my one girlfriend, um, Robin, who's still like my best friend till this day, she would come over um, to my parents' house. My parents like would go out um, and we would like stay home, like make face masks and like all this stuff. And we thought that rubbing butter all over our face left our skin really smooth. And it's comical now because now I'm in dermatology, but we would literally take it like this and just all over our faces, leave it on for a couple of minutes, rinse it off, and we just had butter, buttery smooth skin. Don't do that. I said lay it on top of the meat, so I just put it right on top. I don't know. Okay, add one packet onion soup. Onion soup. I love onions. Love. Go, mommy, go. Go, mommy, go. Mommy can't cook. Mommy can't cook. Nothing? Nothing? So one of the main reasons why I'm doing this is I was trying to find more content for YouTube and I was kind of running out of some ideas and my one um, medical assistant, Shelby, was like, why don't you cook and record it? And I looked at her like, are you insane? I'm not cooking, I don't know how to cook. And she's like, Sam, that's what's funny. Like you don't know how to cook and some people don't know how to cook either and maybe they'll learn something, you know, whatever. So that's actually one of the main reasons why I'm doing this. So. Um, it's a pepperoncini time. It's a pepperoncini time. My husband said something about cutting off the stems of peppers. I don't even like peppers, so I don't even know. Oh. I feel like these are so spicy. All right, should I do one? One or two? One, two. One, two. One, two. One or two. One or two. Two. All right. One. This is the small one. It's like one and a half. Pepperoncini. I don't even know. Should I put it like on top of it? Sure. Okay. You can't have pepperoncini, Drummington. Kinda missing how we kicked it off. Always in overdrive, now the feeling's lost. Lines and orders, we've been losing touch. Long long fairy tale, yeah we killed the rush. Been months of acting a fiction and staging a baptize. Wake up, yeah I'm kicking the cost. All right, I think that's it. And then it says, okay, put on high for four hours or low for eight. Right now it is 7.54 in the morning. I have a hair appointment 
to get my highlights redone and my extensions redone um, at nine. So I'm gonna put it on low for eight hours and then go get my hair done and um, come home and hopefully the house is still standing. And then yeah, we'll go from there. So this is what it looks like in the crock pot. It doesn't look anything fancy, but I put one pepperoncini right on top. I don't know if that's where it goes, but I'm just gonna put it there and I put one over there. Um, like I said, the recipe called for six to eight, but I think that might be way too hot. Say, pepperoncini, pepperoncini. Yeah, okay. So here we go, power, it's on low for eight hours. And then I also have some mashed potatoes that I'm gonna pair it with. Those I'm gonna heat up in the microwave. And yeah, hopefully it tastes yummy. She did highlights in my hair and redid my extensions and made them all nice and tight. So now I'm gonna go home and hope that my house is still standing and see how that um, pot roast is cooking. Can't wait for my husband to get home to try it and hopefully he likes it and hopefully we don't die. All right, let's do this. Bob Evans, mashed potatoes. I'm not making my own mashed potatoes, I'm not that creative. I'm gonna heat these up. His wine glass. Mine. I think I need a little bit more. I did all the work today, right? Yes, okay, let's do this. Matthew, you wanna go in your pop car? Jumpy, jumpy, jumpy. Come here. A pair of jeans, a shirt or two. We didn't pack as if we weren't and going back. It doesn't matter if it's true. I've got a feeling love will give us what we like. Is waiting up. The world is waiting. Daddy, daddy, dinner, daddy, dinner is served. Say mashed potatoes are in the microwave. They're ready, Dad. Thank you, Mom. Okay, time to eat. Doesn't smell good. You might die, but. Tomorrow 
feels a year away Like the seconds, the beginning and the end uh, But if in time it's yesterday Your picture's gonna bring it home to me again The world is waiting up The world is waiting half a step beyond Potato, you like it? Are you really, really like it? Mm -hmm. Enough to tell the camera that you're like it. <laughs> 